Hello viewers, this is Wagada Ronald taking you through this tutorial on application of differentiation 1. And today's lesson you are going to talk about equations of tangents and normals to a curve. A normal to a curve at a point is the straight line through that point and at right angles to the tangent at the same point. Consider a tangent and a normal at a point P, A, B on a curve Y equal to FX as shown below. So this is the curve Y equal to FX. This is a point P and at that point there is both a tangent and a normal. I think you, should you can realize that the tangent and the normal they are perpendicular to each other. So we shall start with gradient of a tangent. The gradient of first of all the gradient function dy dx equal to f prime x gives the formula by which the gradient of the tangent at any point on the curve can be determined. Therefore at a point a b which is x is equal, x will be equal to a and y will be equal to b. Substituting for these values in the gradient function gives the gradient m1 of the tangent at that particular point. So when I substitute for this x here I'll get f prime a and that will be my gradient of the tangent m1. Given the gradient m1 at and the point p, a b, the equation of the tangent at point p can be got from this expression: change in y over change in x. Change in y will be y minus b, which is where b is the y coordinate of point p, over change in x, which is x minus a, where a is the x coordinate of point p, will be equal to m1, where m1 is the gradient of the tangent. Now for the normal, since the normal and the tangent are perpendicular to each other, it implies that the product of their gradients will be equal to negative 1. So in this case, m1 is the gradient of the tangent at point P and m2 is the gradient of the normal at point P. When I make m2 the subject, I'll come up with m2 being equal to negative 1 over m1. What does that mean? It means that the gradient of the normal is equal to the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the tangent. Now that I've got the gradient of the normal, I can get the equation of the normal at that very point P from this equation. Change in Y over change in X equal to M2. So we shall start with problem 1. It says that find the equations of the tangent and the normal to the curve x squared equal to 4y at the point 6, 9. So in this case we are given the equations x squared equal to 4y. We shall first make y the subject to get y equal to a quarter x squared. After making y the subject we shall now differentiate to, to get dy dx being equal to a half x. And at this point, x, 6, 9, x is equal to 6. Therefore, substituting in this dy dx will give us the gradient of the tangent. So, a half times x, which is 6, will be a half times 6 to give you 3. Now, this will be the gradient of the tangent. So, having got the gradient of the tangent, we shall now go to get the equation of the tangent at point 6,9. Shall say change in y where this 9 is the x co y coordinate of this point over change in x where this 6 is the, is the x coordinate of this point being equal to the gradient of the tangent. So remember we have to get to make y the subject. First we shall cross multiply to get y minus 9 equal to 3 in brackets 6 minus x minus 6. Then we shall open brackets to come up with this and in the end we shall make y the subject to get y equal to 3x minus 9. Now this will be the equation of the tangent at the point 6, 9.
Now we shall go to the gradient of the normal. Gradient of the normal is the reciprocal, negative reciprocal of the gradient of the tangent. So it will be negative 1 over 3, where 3 is the gradient of the tangent. Now the equation of the normal will be given by changing y over changing x equal to gradient of the normal, which is negative 1 over 3. Next we shall cross multiply, because our aim is to make y the subject. So we shall first cross multiply to get that. And after that we shall open brackets to get this. And after that we shall make y the subject to give the equation of the normal at point 6, 9. Now problem 2 says that find the equation of the tangent at the point 1, negative 1 to the curve y equal to 2 minus 4x squared plus x cubed. So first of all we are given the equation of the of the curve and the first thing to do is to differentiate. So dy dx will be equal to differentiate 2 you get 0, differentiate this you get negative 8x which is that and differentiate this you get 3x squared. Then at point 1, negative 1, x is equal to 1. So when you substitute that 1 here, you will be able to get the gradient of the tangent. So substitute for x to come up with negative 5 as the gradient of the tangent. Now that we know the gradient of the tangent, we shall get the equation of the tangent. Ch saying change in y where this negative 1 is the y coordinate of this point over change in x where this 1 is the x coordinate of that point equal to the gradient of the tangent. Our aim is to make y the subject so we shall first cross multiply to get that. Then after that we shall make y the subject and this will be the equation of the tangent at point 1 negative 1. So we have gone through a number of problems, it's now your time to try out this problem. So you try it out, the hint is that, and compare answer with this. So that has been our lesson for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform. Thank you.